Hey guys, Levi from Colossians 323 Productions here, uh, back at you with another video. This one, I'm actually really excited about. Uh, I just finished uh, putting the Munitorum varnish on my Ultramarines Primaris Repulsor. Uh, this has been a project I've been wanting to actually finish for a long time. I'm super excited that I got him done today. My goodness, you've got no idea. Um, he's a standard Primaris Repulsor. He's not the Executioner. Unfortunately, I don't have that for my Ultramarines. Um, uh, one of the things that I'm excited about, uh, a couple of things is, uh, number one, the transfers here. Uh, I'm not, you know, the greatest of transfers. Obviously vehicles are really easy to do that on and these look really good. Uh, the next item that I'm really excited about is the weathering, but I'll get to that in a second. I'll just kind of show off my color scheme here. It's pretty basic standard affair for, uh, Primaris Repulsor for the Ultramarines. Uh, the Astute or the Eagle Eye amongst you may have noticed the Space Wolf shoulder pad. The gentleman whom I uh, received this from had initially planned to do Space Wolves, and I got it off him after he had placed that on there. I don't know what the story is there. Uh, eventually, I may either grind that off or uh, replace the, the shoulder pad entirely. Until then, I'm just going to leave it there because I don't really care. Everything else is uh, pretty box standard. He's got the double last cannon. Uh, set up there. He's got the double on like Gatling cannons, stubber, the launchers, and the frag storm uh, grenade launchers. So yeah, all oh, and the Icarus rocket pod. Um, I'll kind of go over my color scheme. If any of you are interested in maybe possibly duplicating it, though, uh, I would encourage you guys to you know kind of do your own thing and move the hell blaster out of the way. Uh, what I did, uh, this guy was actually based with, uh, the McCrag Blue Rattle Can that I had, uh, back when I still had some. Uh, I don't anymore, unfortunately. Uh, possibly the subject for another video, but I'll get into that at a later date. Uh, so yeah, McCrag Blue, uh, to start. Uh, Lead Belcher for all the silver bits. I mean, no duh there. The black that I use is actually a bit different, um, at least on this. Uh, I use this uh, black ceramic coat craft paint that actually works pretty well. It gives me a nice flat black, uh, good coverage for the most part. And uh, you get quite a bit. I got this on sale at uh, my local friend Myers for, I think, a uh, buck 50 or less than two bucks American. Uh, if you don't have a Fred Myers in your area, I'm sure you can find a, a comparable black. Uh, I may also do a video about craft paints, but again, that's, you know, topic for a later date. So black is with that. Uh, minor touch-up with the Batten black. It's a pretty close shade, uh, so the minor touch-ups you don't really notice. Uh, bronze details, such as there, and also, let's see, right there, you can see. Uh, those are all Balthazar gold. Gold details, retributor armor with uh, Fle Reichland Flesh Shade and Liberator Gold. My shading, uh, traditional ultramarine style, calls for Nuln Oil shading on practically everything, including, you know, the metal bits. I went with Agrax Earth Shade because, as you can tell, I wanted to go for a gunky, grimy look. Uh, I was inspired to do this for two reasons. One, I'm trying to do things that I've never really done before. And number two, I saw a really great uh, paint scheme with a rusted, corroded look on it from uh, Luton09. I think I'm pronouncing his channel name right. Uh, I'll try and link him in the description below if I forget to. Luton, if you end up watching this at some point, I'm sorry if I didn't link your channel, bro. Uh, but for those of you who are interested, check Luton out. He's got a great, great channel, a lot of great... Um, lore videos for warhammer 40,000. he's got his own ultramarine army that he's painting he's posting videos of and hopefully soon you know fingers crossed maybe some battle reports that'd be really cool if uh he starts those up he's just a great guy show him some love and support uh he's a huge inspiration for me on this channel so i really uh recommend checking him out uh now for the corrosion i went with the kind of the standard uh citadel accoutrement that being i start out with this stuff typhus corrosion which I thought would have more texture in it than I than it ended up having, at least uh, for me. I think I could probably drop a steel bearing in there and uh, get some more stirring of the pot, but I'm still happy with how it turned out. The orange is uh, riser rust dry. Uh, again, standard affair for uh, Citadel rust effects. And I just kind of went 
Oh, oh, before I did that though, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I actually did a couple steps before I got there. So after I did the transfers and after I got everything uh, washed and everything, actually before I did the transfers, what I did is I took, uh, where did I put that? Here we go. Calgar blue and used that as a dry brush to catch my highlights. Um, Standard Citadel is Kronos Blue. I do not have Kronos Blue, so I got creative with Calgar Blue. And uh, I actually managed to get a really decent uh, kind of scratch effect going on. I think that's partly due to my brush being a piece of crap. But, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the brush being uh, not that great because it gave me some great uh, scratching. And, like, the paint is getting scuffed from, you know, all of the, the battles that this thing has been through. Typhus Corrosion is also very appropriate. I play against a lot of Death Guard guys, so these uh, Ultramarines have definitely seen their fair share in the Indominus Crusade against Mortarion and his boys. So, uh, that was my initial, you know, highlighting. And then for uh, basic weathering, well, I say basic, you'll notice this kind of the scratching on the paint detail there, at least I hope you can, uh, which kind of goes all across the model in uh, various spaces that was a two-step process i took a sponge brush by the way um i got a pack of like six of these for a buck at dollar tree uh so if you guys can you know pick these up for cheap i recommend them they're great for uh different tricks like weathering because all you do i'm oh, sorry for my hand there first thing i did uh and again standard citadel is a little different but i took eschen gray and dabbed the heck out of it on my palette just so I got a little bit and I started doing a stippling effect. Uh, if you check out the how to paint a Redemptor Dreadnought video, I think that the one they use is Scaven Blight Dinge for Warhammer TV. Uh, check out that video. It's, come, it's a fun video. I got a lot of tips for that for, uh, or for this repulsor from that video. Um, if I forget to link that in the description, eh, I, I'm sure they're getting enough revenue from that anyways. Uh, so yeah, they use Scaven Blight Dinge. Again, I don't have Scaven Blight Dinge, so I went with Eschen Gray, as it gives a very similar effect. Follow that up with some minor similar stippling with Lead Belcher, which gives me you know, gives you that, that chipped metal look. After applying those two stipples, that's when I went in with the Typhus Corrosion, followed up with the Rise of Rust to give me the... Not gonna lie, I'm really happy with how the effect turned out on this. Uh, I even hit this thing, uh, the uh, exhaust pipes back here with uh, the Eschen Gray, just to give them a little extra weathering. Oh, it's oh, it's so good. No, I'm really happy with how this guy turned out. Is he, you know, like parade ready? I like to think so with the added details I went on. Obviously, there's people who have done way more details on their guys than I have. And for some reason, this repulsor has just kind of been the bane of my existence. I don't know why. I think it's uh, because I just got burnt out a little bit doing these uh, silver bits down here, the repulsor generators. I don't know what it is about those things. They drive me nuts brushing the, the lead belcher on. It just drove me up a wall. The angles, while they look good, the problem is that they also just feel, I don't know, like tedious to highlight, which is why I'm glad I tried the dry brushing, because that really helped me out. Um, it also could be that, you know, I got this model secondhand, and, you know, I don't have that relationship that one gets with their models when they build it, and for those of you who actually build your models and then paint them, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, from start to finish, you have that connection with them. Uh, and it also could be that, you know, this thing has just been a giant point sink every time I bring it to battle. Uh, I don't think there's been a single time where I've brought this thing and I've been like, yeah, that was worth it. No, this thing always gets blown off the board turn one. But, you know, maybe if I bring it to my next battle, thanks to the new paint job, it might, you know, last a little longer. Uh, who am I kidding? The curse of the newly painted model is always prevalent in Warhammer 40,000. Those of you who play... Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so this is my Primaris Repulsor, guys. I'm really glad that I was able to share this with you. Super, super happy how it turned out. Actually, I'll keep that in portrait so I don't mess you guys up. I uh, get a better view of it. Um, I know it wasn't originally on my uh my workplace, you know, my workspace, you know, before when I was talking about my my project, but I'm really happy that I got him out of the way. Next up, I'm hoping to maybe do a small video on these Hellblasters, if I can. I'm, I'm not going to do a huge video on them, because uh, people 
I generally know how to paint the Space Marines, but what I'm maybe going to do is a video on the plasma coils. Uh, so, you know, with this black uh, on these guys is also that same black ceramic coat. And so you can get a better view of how that covers and goes with like lead belcher and stuff. It goes pretty darn well. But yeah, uh, Primaris Repulsor, super happy how that turned out. It's another model off my list. Uh, as always, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't. I'm a baby channel and I would really appreciate all the help that I can get. Uh, keep building, keep playing. And as always, guys, whatever you do, do it for God, not just for men. Have a good one.